Brian's going to be on the play for game one. Um, let's take a look at our openers, see if they're reasonable. Hopefully his is not. Hopefully mine is like the most reasonable thing we've ever seen. It's, yeah, could be. Uh, this, this one's a little... This one's not exciting at all. Um, I'm going to try it out, uh, mainly for this card. But, uh, yeah, I would rather have a better 7 than this. Um, our hand's fine, especially on the draw. Uh, it's pretty fast. Um, we have these two new cards, which I don't know if you can actually read them, but, uh, you know, we have this one and this one. But All right, all right we're keeping. So all right, Steam I'll on. announce them on Go. when I play them. But. All right, so we're going to lead with a Swamp into a Grave Crawler. Sure. Pester. Hopefully he doesn't have a Pillar of Flame, but even if he does, we still have plenty of uh, gas, so... All right, so uh, I'm going to play Hinterland Harbor and say go. All right. Awesome thing about Steam Vents is that it lets you play all the M whatever duels on taps. So. Yeah, it looks, it's been looking pretty good so far. So, All right, we're going to play Recto Shred Freak, and even though he's probably going to die. I'm going to scatter his essence. Sure. <clears throat> all right, so he's going to counter it, and we'll just go into tech for two. He's going to put Brian to 18 on yep. 20 and pass the turn. Now, I could have used Cavern to cast him, but, I mean, he's the only human in the deck, so it would have been pretty awkward to have a, basically a dead Cavern. All right, so, um, like, we could kill his Gravecrawler here, but I think we're better off just waiting and saying go. All right, well, we've drawn three lanes in a row. That's not good for us. It's good for us. Pretty standard for me against Brian. We'll attack for two. I'm at 16. Alright, so uh, we're going to go ahead and play Counter Souls on Zombie, just so we don't get Essence scattered again and play a Diagraph Ghoul. Sure. And be done. <coughs> Alright, so now that we've drawn this, um, that kind of opens our options up a little bit more. Uh, the reason I didn't want to cast either of these last turn is in case he had a Messenger, um, but now that he's shown us that if he had a messenger, he probably cast it right there, especially with the cavernous souls. Mm. So I think it's a good bet that he doesn't have one. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and pillar of flame the grave crawler. Sure, I will attempt to abrupt decay the grave crawler in response, and I'm doing this so that I can rebuy from the graveyard if I have a zombie in play because the pillar exiles it, and I'd much yep. rather have it in my graveyard. That resolves. All right, all right. I'm going to Mizium mortars. Sure. Cool. Now, even though I don't have a zombie in play right now, if I draw any zombie, it's going to turn on the grave crawler and. He missed a land drop, which means it's, uh, we're not really afraid of Huntmaster or Thrag Tusk for the moment. But uh, that was a pretty good draw. We're going to play a uh, lot less troll and it's then play good. Grave Crawler out of the grave. And we'll go ahead and play a Woodland Cemetery. So now we can potentially regenerate the Lotus troll. Go. Well, lot less. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Lot less, I think. Yeah, that guy could be a serious problem for us. Um, yeah, regenerate seems pretty good. We'll play Jace you. and plus one him. Sure. So hopefully Jace untaps. We get to un hopefully we get to untap with Jace. Well, it's pretty likely you do, right? I yep. mean, I, I'm only gonna hit him for two. Yeah, you'd have to discard three creatures. You'd have to, your hand would have to just be all creature. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, discard a grave color to the troll, That's and then hit Jace for three. All right, so Jace is at two, uh, and then cast the grave crawler. Okay. And play over on two tapped. And your turn. <clears throat> so it might be a mistake not just attacking Helm, but I can't let Helm just like keep plussing the Jace up. I think I have to get it off the table as soon as possible, but we'll see. I mean, I have a bunch of Grave Crawlers that are just sort of suiciding into his board at the moment. Like if he plays a Hunt Master, uh, I mean, I can replay them pretty easily. So, so I don't think our Jace is going to live to see another day here. So I'm going to minus to him. <laughs> sure. And so we basically. Mini factor fiction. Yeah, the top three cards. He All splits right, the So, I think I just put mortars in one pile and the land in the volley in the other pile because him kicking the mortars is pretty good. And he might want the land though, but I definitely don't want to give him a land and a mortar because that pushes him even farther towards being able to do it. Um, I could do a land and two burn spells since neither of the burn spells really affect me all that much since I can regenerate the troll and. Uh, like, he's probably just looking for the land to cast Thrag Tusk this turn, now that I think about it, so... 
I will do the split, a land and two burn spells. All right, I'll take these two. Sure. And uh, oh, you drew the land. That's fine. <laughs> cast uh, Thrag Tusk. Sure. So, I mean, I'm really not that afraid of the burn spells yeah. because these guys come back and this that guy, guy can regenerate. So yeah, it is. Yeah, the burn spell. Yeah. I'll say go ahead. Sure. Uh, a lot less troll is actually a big issue. I need. Uh, yeah, I mean, like pillar doesn't kill him. So the only thing uh, that I need to worry about when I have a lot less troll is like tapping out and I mean obviously I'm not doing that in this game so <clears throat> alright we're gonna go ahead let's see you gained 5 so you're 21 so I'm at 21 yep. I'll just go ahead and jam everybody into you alright I'll block uh, grave crawler sure you take 5 yep down to 16 yep I'm gonna play a troll and recast grave crawler and I don't think there's much value in trying to like bluff uh, anything and if he attacks, I want to be able to block and then regenerate from a mortar. So I'm going to go ahead and play my swamp. It is black to regenerate, or is it green to regenerate? Do you know? Uh, actually, not entirely sure. All right, well, I'm going to tap a swamp to cast my guy instead and just hold up this. I can't remember. We'll look it up in a second, but it's your turn. I do apologize. Sometimes the new cards are uh, a little hard to play with when it's the first time you've ever played with them and you can't actually read them while you're playing. So. All right, <laughs> so... We're actually in a pretty good position here, I think. I think he's going to have a lot of trouble beating these two guys. Especially if I hit another guy that I don't mind discarding, and I get to attack with both these into his Thrag Tusk each turn. So. Yeah. Yeah, we're in a bit of not a great spot here. Um, I'm actually going to uh, Faithless Looting with this a charm. Sure. It is black to regenerate. Okay. And I was just informed that it is black to regenerate from our director, so... It didn't really matter which way I tapped this, but if I'm going to play my land, I'd much rather have the dual land. Right, so we have to discard two, and we're probably going to discard, um, I don't think Brimstone, well, we actually may want Brimstone to go to his dome at some point. That may be one of our ways to... Actually win? Yeah, actually win. Um, <coughs> I think we'll, we'll definitely going to discard Mizium. And then we'll probably discard, uh, yeah, we'll discard the Brimstone Volley as well. Sure. And I'm going to go ahead and cast uh, Desperate Ravings. Okay. Just drop two and shuffle it up and discard one. It's much faster than rolling dice and stuff. Just pick one. Okay, so we discard another Mortars. Okay. Which, all right. And uh, I'll play... Evolving Wilds. Sure. I'm done. Alright, so at this point, we're just suiciding our guys into his Thrag Tusk each turn. We don't really mind. And just send them all in. Uh, I will block this guy. Sure. Regenerate. Alright. And you're going to take 7 down yep. to 9. Yep. And pass turn. Crack the Evolving Wilds. Sure. We drew this. I'm not sure how relevant it's going to be, but uh, hopefully it'll be able to do something. Yeah, we're definitely going to need um, to draw like another another creature would be great, like right. a Huntmaster or a Thrag Tusk is what we would really like to draw here. Yeah, I don't even think either of those really helps you all that much though, right? Like, I mean, you get like some blockers, but you're not like. I find it very difficult. Sigo. Like you're not gonna be able to kill these uh, very easily. Sorry. Let's play that and say go. Okay, we'll attack with everything. Alright, so I think we have to uh, just do this. Overload cyclonic rift. Bounce all your guys. Sure. Uh okay. They all come back. Just buy us a turn. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I really don't want my trolls to die uh, from anything, so I think we're going to just cast the two trolls and not play either Grave Crawler, especially because we can discard them and uh, pump our trolls. But uh, I think I'll just say go after that. Okay. Like, I could be greedy and just, like, 
you know, put everything on the board. He does have three Mizium Mortars in the yard already, but I don't think it's against the realm of possibility that he's also got bonfires in his deck or something like that. Just, like, more sweepers that would punish me severely for overextending when right. I really don't need to. I'm going to start by um, flashing back <laughs> Desperate Ravings. Sure. And, again, just draw two, shuffle, and yep. peel one. Alright, snap, snap, gone. It's unfortunate. I don't think you can snap and then overload, though. No, you can't. Okay. Overload is uh, when you cast it from your hand. Okay, sure. Um, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, is it charm? Draw two, discard two. Okay. Alright, so that was one of the cards we definitely wanted to hit. Uh, now... I kind of want this card, but in the same regard, I don't want to discard either of these. Uh, but I think we'll, we'll end up discarding this because I don't think we're going to get value out of it. Because uh, Todd's playing around it and his guys regenerate. So we're going to discard a Mountain and a Mizium Mortars. I believe that's all four Mortars, so we don't really have to worry about we'll play this. Anymore. And say go. Alright. Draw for turn. Alright, we're going to go ahead and attack with the two Trolls. All right, I'm going to block one. All right. Uh, the one you block, I'll discard a Gravecrawler to put a counter on him. Okay. Uh, the one you didn't block, I'll discard a Gravecrawler and put a counter on him. Okay, so I'm going to take three. Yeah, I'm going to regenerate the uh, one you blocked. All right, so I'm at six. Thragtus dies. I get a beast. Yep. And uh, I'm going to play Golgari Guildgate. Tapped, obviously. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and cast both my Gravecrawlers from the graveyard. Okay. And be done. Now, I could have discarded this creature uh, to the unblocked troll to deal one more damage, and it might have actually been better, but I, th I like the surprise factor of having an extra guy to pump at instant speed, but well, that's not bad. All right, we're going to play two Hunt Masters. <sighs> okay. So that puts us up to 10. And uh, you're at 20. I am. I uh, will say go. All right, so just so he has to actually trade with my guys, I'm going to go ahead and Abrupt Decay on the Beast. And now any block he makes, he's going to have to sacrifice a creature, <coughs> basically. So um, Unfortunately, we're going to have to play a spell this turn instead of discarding another creature to the trolls, I think. We can't really afford to let his Hummaster flip. But even if they flip, like they're just big. They don't really do all that much. So... Alright, we'll just go ahead and attack with everybody. I feel like this is what Zombies is going to be doing in Sander, is just turn guys sideways literally just, every turn. Yeah, just every turn, constantly. Yeah. Um, One of the cool things right here is that if he uh, blocks the Grave Crawlers, we get to basically play a spell for free, which is nice to keep his Hunt Masters from flipping. But I'm going to block the two trolls. Sure. Alright, we will regen both. Yep. You take right. four down to six. I uh, actually take six. So Why do you take they have six? They have oh, God. Yeah. Right, take an extra one then. Sorry. I'm okay. going to discard another grave crawler. So I'm at three. Three. All right. And then I'll cast the grave crawler. That is brutal. All right. Uh, ship turn. All right, uh, we will just pass the turn. Okay. I will do two to a grave crawler. Two to you and two to a grave crawler. Sure, so I'll take four down to 16. Yep. You have one card in hand? Two. Two, do you have any flashback cards in the yard? I don't believe so. Alright, well, he is, it's very possible he has Snapcaster Mage, I think. I don't. You don't? I don't. Have any flashback cards or Snapcaster Mage? Flashback cards. <laughs> Alright, um, since our guy can regenerate, I'm going to play Rancor on this troll. Okay. Uh, 
and then can you snap and then kick that thing? Oh no, you can't kick it anyway. Never mind. Sorry, I'm just talking to myself. All right, we'll declare tax and just attack with everybody. All right. Well, I have to use Desolate Lighthouse here. Sure. Uh, that's so always a good sign. Draw, and we're dead. Okay. So I could have played this last turn, but I wanted to... Flip these. Uh, flip them both back with these two. Oh, yeah. The following turn, sure. but maybe that was a little bit greedy. So I mean, maybe, but... I mean, if you're just, like, dead on board, then it's definitely greedy, right? I mean, I wasn't dead on board. I was dead to the Rancor. Uh, well, one guy was already 4 4 so you're dead to a creature. Because if you block the two trolls, you take two from the crawler and then one trample from right. the guy. Yeah. But I'm not dead on board. Like, I'm dead sure. I'm dead to a creature. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm dead to. Right, right. So. Alright, so uh, Brian's going to be on the play for game two. We're going to play one more pre sideboard and then move to sideboards after that. That guy is ridiculously good. Yeah, troll? Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I, mean, I forgot I had, he like, trampled. Yeah. I forgot he trampled. That's, yeah. That, see, we're. When we're playing with new cards, guys, this is a learning experience for us, too. You know, like, we know basically what the cards do, but we miss a lot of stuff because we can't see the physical card. You know, playing with proxies is yeah a little rough sometimes, but... I really needed to hit uh, Tommy O at some point right. to just keep the trolls locked down, or yeah, one of the trolls locked down. Yeah. I'm not sure if it ended up better or worse for you for playing the... Uh, what's the overload bounce everything? Uh, I mean, it definitely was better for me. I was just dead if I didn't, so. Okay. I was at 9, you were hitting me for 7, okay. and there's no way I would be able to block this okay. turn, so. Like, I wanted to do it end step, but I didn't have, like, the life luxury to be able to do something like that. Fair enough. All right. Yeah, like, what I needed to be able to do there was, like, stabilize the board and then somehow be able to go on the offensive, but... The troll is just like... Yeah, I mean, like, none of your guys... Once he has three power, like, none of your guys can really even stand against them. Yeah, and he just, like, hits me every single turn. Uh, it's pretty... Um, man, that's that's so bad that they uh, rotated Incinerate out of standard, so now you can't even kill it with Incinerate. Like, the, the Regenerate is actually just the Nutter Butters. Yeah, the Regenerate's also, awesome, I mean, like, the Day of Judgment. Yeah, you know, the new... Uh, Supreme Judgment. You can Regenerate from that, too? Yeah, you can. Yeah. So. All right, so you're going to be able to play this game, and um, let's take a look. I'm mulliganing this. All right, I'm going to keep mine. Um, you know, obviously we have the potential to just never draw land and die, but, uh, I mean, we have these three cards we can play, and they're all going to be very good. Let's zoom in on this one just so you can see. Same as last time. But All right, so we're going to keep ours, and Brian's going down to six on the play. One land, multiple Thrag Tusks. Probably not going to get it done. What are you talking about? It's perfect. Just peel out lands Just every draw. Peel four lands in a row. Yeah. And then never draw another land. Yep. That's exactly what your deck wants to do. Do you think the... So, the, wasn't there... There was a problem with, like, the reg deck and block constructed, right? Like, your removal just couldn't kill certain creatures? The issue is, like, you were unable to kill, like, big creatures. Right. Yeah. Okay, now you have, like, Mizium Mortar, so I guess it's not as bad. Yeah, it's not as bad. And you have Tomio and Jace kind of help in that right. front. But, uh, you know, I guess another issue with this deck is not being able to kill regenerating creatures very well. Yeah. So That might end up being a big problem, but... Honestly, there's not a lot of so there's not a lot of things in the format that kill a regenerator, right? Like no one's really gonna play Unsummon. I think maybe the uh, Cyclonic Rift might just end up seeing a ton more play just because of that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have to keep this one, but I'm not excited about it. Okay. So, go ahead. All right. So we'll open up with a Diagraph Ghoul. Sure. Yes, sir. Go ahead. All right, so we might run into the same type of thing here with his uh, essence scatter, but we're going to go for another shred freak on two. Yep. All right, and swing for four. 16. Having haste is pretty sweet. All right, your turn. Go ahead. And this game just might be over before it even starts. Yeah, this one's not looking great. I'll play a drag mangler. All right. All right, seven power coming at you. At nine. Go. Yep. And that is... Wow, we are drawing as terrible as possible. 
play home master. All right, so you're going to gain two back up to 11. So you get a little bit of a windfall here. Say, go ahead. Yeah. Being able to kill my Shred Freak and my Diagraph Ghoul and gain two life is not bad. Uh. All right, so um, I guess to entice a double block on this Dreg Mangler, uh, we're going to Rancor it because I am assuming that he's just going to be blocking here, and I'd rather not have to re-equip or re replay the Rancor like next turn. So we're going to play it there and attack for uh, nine. Um, I'm going to block the Diagraph Ghoul with the Wolf and take seven. Seven. All right, four. 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 And I don't think we can lose this game. So we're going to play a Messenger, put you down to two. Right. I'll be very surprised if we lose. Go. But, I mean, he can just, like, thrag, 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 so. Oh, well, there's a thrag. How was lucky. <laughs> if you had seen the cards I draw in this game, <laughs> you would not have said that. Sure. So. Alright, All right, we're so at you're going to go back up to 7, and now I don't really think that I can afford to attack with my Shred Freak, because he can just eat it with a Thrag Tusk and then trade, or maybe that's fine, because you <coughs> take a lot of damage if you do that. It's 5, 6, 7, you're at 7, so you actually can't seven. not block the Drug Mangler, so, alright, so we figured it out. Yep. Attack. Alright, so I have, I have to block here, and then I'll be taking 7 if I don't block anywhere else, so... Uh, blocking here as well. All right, so you're going to be taking two from here and three from here? Yep, I'm at two. All right, I have another messenger. I'm dead, yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I kept uh, five lands, Huntmaster. Uh, and you just drew all lands. And, yeah, Thragtus was the first non-land card <laughs> I drew, so. All right, yeah. well, sometimes you don't get to play real games, unfortunately. <coughs> but. All right, so we're going to go ahead and move to sideboarding, and we'll sideboard face up. Uh, that way we can give you guys a little bit better idea of what we're doing. Um, Brian's a control deck. I'm not sure if I want Liliana against him, though, because he's not like a uh, hardcore control deck. He's kind of like a mid-range, lots of creatures. Uh, Huntmaster and Thragtos can make Liliana a little bit worse. I do think that Duress might be good, especially since you have a lot of Planeswalkers. Um, Underworld Connections might be pretty sweet, and possibly Vraska, since you do have the Planeswalkers. So, really, I'm looking at bringing in about nine cards, and let's see what we want to side out. I definitely want to side out Tragic Slip, and uh, probably also want to side out uh, Abrupt Decay since it just doesn't really have that many targets. And like it's basically killing creature tokens, and that's just not good enough. Uh, but generally, the removal spells are bad in this matchup, I think. So that's five, and we have four more to take out. So I'm going to figure out what I want to take out. Brian, go ahead and talk about what you're going to do. All right, well, I'm bringing in... Um, I want to bring in these five cards here. Uh, Pillar of Flame, because it... You know, Exiles Gravecrawlers, Exiles Messengers, just kind of the best removal spell. Yeah. Uh, flames, Does that mean you only have three main deck? I have three main, yeah. Okay. Uh, flames I want instead of, like, Brimstone Volley, because, like, he has, like, the Shred Freak and uh, things like that, and I might be able to get two creatures with this. Okay. Uh, Tree of Redemption is mainly because of Troll. Like, uh, after the beating I took from Troll game one, I need, I need something that just can just sit there and block it yeah, all day long. that seems very reasonable. So, um... I'm also considering uh, Garrick Relentless. Uh, I know in Block Constructed, this guy's insane against zombies. I'm not sure if that's going to carry over uh, here. I mean, you get to make a blocker for Troll, right? I mean, it's not, like, great because he tramples, so if I just discard one guy, you get trampled for one. But. Yeah, I mean, like, he's good against... It, I mean, it depends on what you have. Like, basically, Garrick is insane if you can untap with him. Right. That's, that's what makes him good. If you can start making... Death Touch Wolves with him, and most of the creatures and zombies are two powers, so you can usually, like, kill a guy and he'll be at one counter. And if you can untap with him, you usually win the game. So, I uh, kind of want to try these. Um, I don't think, uh, this is, is it Stratocaster? I don't think he's very good because uh, most of Todd's guys, you know, he, he's okay, but I'm not, like, excited about him. He is a 0-3 flash pinger, and he does one damage to all creatures that he pings, so... Yeah. Um, and then I also basically not sure about, uh, Jace. Um, I think I want to just stick with the two that I have because I don't know how good he is in the matchup yet. So, uh, these are cards I'm looking to bring in. Not sure exactly what I want to side out sure. yet. Um, I think the matchup's going to be very grindy after game one. Um, I know I shouldn't cut too many creatures, but, 
Uh, we're bringing in some slower cards. Vreska might not actually be that good for this matchup. I think Vreska is better against a, a dedicated control deck because even if I come down and I'm able to uh, destroy a Thrag Tusk like, or a Huntmaster, it's kind of like the same thing as uh, Liliana. Like her plus ability is never going to uh, matter. I don't think against you, uh, other than just trying to grow her to be able to kill two different permanents. Right. But I don't know if that's good enough. So we're just gonna bring in the dresses and the connections. And I think that Shred Freak is one of the uh, worst creatures against you in my deck, just because you have so many. Like especially if you have like flames after board. But uh, like it's probably the worst creature in the deck. I like the one drops. I think I'm just gonna set out one Shred Freak and one of the uh, Cacklers. Uh, that'll still leave us 11 one-drop creatures, and we're keeping our curve low, which I like. Um, we're just bringing in duresses, and Underworld Connection is a little slow, but I think it'll be pretty strong against you if I get it going. So, All right, so I want to I wanna board out two uh, Brimstones and uh, two Is it Charms. Is it Charm basically is either uh, two damage or loot. or loot, since the other ability is very rarely going to be relevant. Right. And it seems like most of the time I was just looting with it, which I'm not excited about. I think I'd rather have uh, like Desperate Ravings if that's my goal. Sure. Um, and then I want to side out one Essence Scatter since he has Caverns. I want to leave a few in, though. Um, and then I want to bring, I think, uh, probably just going to bring in one Garrick and go with these. Because I don't want to flood myself on fours right. and fives. So... Uh, do you think Essence Scatters? I mean, I know it's like good against Messengers, but if I have Cavern, like it's just a dead card. Um, I mean, not every creature in your deck's a zombie. Sure. So. I do have I have uh, two of the uh, the Haste guy on two and three Cacklers, but I mean, you th you've seen a bunch, so I yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I mean, it's possible that I should side up more Essence Scatters. Uh, we'll play at least one game before we make any changes, and we'll play one more game, and and if you feel like yeah. you need to make some changes, that's fine. But uh, I, I do like the I, like I don't want to have too many fours, but at the same time, I think a good way to play against this deck is to just jam power cards over and over again. Yeah. So there is some merit to that. Like I'm not going to try to beat I'm not going to ever beat you by just one for one in your creatures or whatever. So yeah. I just want to buy time for like big big cards. Right. All right. So Brian's going to be on the play first game of post side board mm -hmm. after getting mangled twice in a row. Last game by uh, the Mangler himself. It's like, excuse me, you got any dregs I can mangle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock. How is this rank war doing for you? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty happy with the mana base so far. Outside, of, I mean, I drew infinite lands that game, but uh, in terms like of like not, the colors. All your lands are coming on tap, then. Yeah, they're all coming to play untapped, and they're all producing, like... I'm, I'm not having any issues casting any spells, right. so... Um, means you need to get greedier. You always want to have, like, some mana issues to begin with, right? Because you want to have just, like, the most crazy, powerful spells all thrown together. Yeah, I mean, I thought about Splashing Restoration Angel this deck, so... That would have been sweet. Yeah, and, you know, it may actually be worth it, so... Yeah. I mean, you already have Evolving Wild, so why not? Uh, yes, we will keep this hand. Alright, this is a one-lander, but this is, like, pretty close to a nut one-lander, especially on the draw. Uh, I mean, if we draw any land... I mean, this is basically, like, if we were mulliganing to six, I could not really ask for a much better six-card hand. So, uh, we'll just keep and hope that we draw a couple lands. Rootbound, go. Alright, I'm actually going to lead with Arakdos Cackler. Uh, I'm gonna unleash it for a plus one plus one counter. If he has like pillar flame, I'm not sure whether I'm pillar this than my grave crawler. So go ahead. All right. So we drew the land, but I think we should just attack for two and then a two. Uh, attempt to play a dire grave ghoul. Uh, I'm gonna scatter that essence. Sure. Yeah. And then I'm gonna play a grave crawler. Sure. Go. I don't think there was any point in leading with a grave crawler. Uh, I mean, he's not going to counter it, and I was definitely just casting both of them. But all right, I'm going to museum orders that guy. Sure. Say go ahead. All right, so Brian's at 18. It's going to take a little bit more. We'll name zombie on the cavern. Play the mangles. 
Oh, okay. good. Hit you for five. Thirteen. All right. Pass turn. Right. That was quite a good draw. Yeah, it was... No, I meant the cavern. Uh, I didn't have the the green for the guy. So. I'll um, Mizzy and Mortar some. Sure. Say go ahead. I might actually get to use the Dreg Mangler's ability this game. I know, yeah. See. Scavenge is five mana. Uh, yeah. yeah. But I need green, though. Right. All right, we'll play another Dreg Mangler. Yeah, and so. you for five. Not what I want to see. I'm eight. All right, and we'll go ahead and play the Swamp and be done. All right. Oh, Todd has jams. Plethora of haste creatures. Yep. I'm just going to play Tomio and tap down the Drag Mangler. Sure. So Tomio's a five. So you really need to draw an untapped green source to be able to kill it. That was not it. But we will play Shred Freak. Yeah. Just. Um, I'm not afraid of Tomio right now. I'm going to go ahead and put him to four. And then if he plus ones, he's still just going to lock down the Mangler. Um, and uh, he's already played two Mortars, right? Yep. Yeah, I, I mean, if he has a third Mortars in a lane, I think I just got to get browned. But we're going to play a Troll. All right, well, locking down a creature uh, really doesn't do a whole lot here. Um, I mean, you can also just draw three cards. That might have been a reason for me to attack it. Yeah, I'm going to... By I'm putting gonna, it to four, I think that's better, because it's going to be hard for you to... I'm going to draw three. Yeah. That's probably a mistake. Mountain Mortars me. All right, so... All right. We do, we have a mountain. We don't have mortars, but thank God that would have been super embarrassing. We're gonna pillar the troll, sure, and then uh, snapcaster pillar target it. The grave crawler. All right, they are both gone. All right. So while we did not draw a overloaded museum mortars, we did. Uh, Kill all the Get some good stuff off of Tamiya. So we'll say go ahead. Alright, so you're at four. Let's draw. Alright, so we drew this. I'm going to take two down to 18. Now, I don't know if I want... I guess I just want to Rancor my Drake Mangler. And that just kills you, I think, if you don't have anything. So we'll just do that and just go for the one. And attack you. Yep, I'm dead. Well, I, actually, I guess I'll Thought Scour myself. Sure. Pretty sure that ah, uh, there's the museum. Shock, right? No, nope. yeah, I'm done. Okay, so <clears throat> yeah, if somehow he had been able to survive that turn, he would have been able to lock down my drag mangler with the rancor on it with his Tomio. Um, that's one of the reasons why we attacked Helm last turn as opposed to attacking Tomio. But uh, keeping him from drawing three cards might have been worth it. But I was really afraid that uh, if I left your Tomio, like if I if I attacked Tomio but couldn't kill it. Uh, you could have started to like lock down my guy and then gaining a board presence by like Huntmaster or Thrag Tusk or something like that. And I felt like I really just needed to hit you and just like yeah. overload the board, you know? No, I agree. Like, I agree. I think it was right. I mean, that game I had pretty good hand. Like, I killed guys from like three turns in a row, then played Tomio. And I mean, that really shows you the power of Drag Mangler because Haste is awesome. Yeah. And the fact that I was still able to threaten uh, his scavenge ability afterwards was huge because especially against your deck where all your uh, removal is damage based aside from like Tomio. Um, so like if I had had a, a, a if I'd been able to play the Rancor earlier and then on that turn been able to like scavenge onto the Rancor guy, like that would have been insane. Yeah. So. All right, I'm going to bring in I want to cut the two essence scatters because um, they were actually fine that game, but I do I do agree that it's probably not that good. And I'm going to bring in a uh, I'm gonna try this guy out. Static we'll caster. Yeah, we'll see how yeah. good he is. All right, is that static caster is kind of an interesting card against me because I have a lot of creatures with two power. Like all my one drops have two power, um, but I don't have that many creatures with one toughness. But the fact that he can block and also sometimes like keep my grave crawlers in check, or force me to like tap a mana or discard a creature with my a lot less troll. Um, right. You know, or, or you can kill my shred freaks or. Or even if like I can block like with a wolf on a drag mangler and then. Finish right. it or something. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. Seems reasonable. I mean, three toughness is decently sized, you know. You can very easily deal with Grave Crawler, which I think is good. Having haste and flash just seems really cool. You know, like it's a very interesting card. And I think 
even though it can't hit players, like it's not quite as good as uh, like Cutting Spark Mage or something like that. Right. But I still think that it does that same kind of job uh, that you know uh, Cunning Spark Mage used to fill, and hopefully like he'll just become the new Cunning Spark Mage and. You know, the dealing one to an opponent was, like, not that relevant most of the time. You know, right. You, I most always wanted it just to kill, like, birds and elves. And maybe that'll just be the same way. The fact that he kills everything, though, is pretty awesome, too, with, like, cards like Lingering Souls. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Midnight Haunting, I think, like, he'll, I think he'll see play for, like... Yeah. I agree. He seems very, very good. I really like their... Uh, uh, intuition for being able to affect tokens more easily, like with Helm and the Detention Sphere, being able to hit like all creatures with the same name or whatever, right. or you know cards of whatever the, with the same name. But all right, so Brian's gonna be on the play again for the fourth game in a row. Yep, just right. getting absolutely destroyed by <laughs> zombies. All right, so this just goes to show you the Pillar of Flames, not the end all, be all for zombies. And I think I finally have the Mulligan one, but. You you go first, and then we'll talk about. All right. Well, I'm keeping this. All right. So it's a one lander, but I do have two one drops, but then I have like mono three drops after that. So I'm pretty sure in a rancor. So we would have got there, obviously. But yeah, I should never mulligan. Not when I'm running this high. Yeah, exactly. This hand is not good, uh, but it's not bad either. Like, uh, and it also has like we want to see this if this is cards any good and uh, see if this cards any good. So. What, you know, I wanna... of Redemption and Garrick. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, Pillar of Flame and Snapcaster. Yeah, I wonder Mage. if Pillar of Flame and Snapcaster Mage are very good against Yeah. Me. Probably not. I have a lot of creatures, so it's only killing like one of them. Yeah. I mean, it's <laughs> not that, you know. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we're going down to six. Let's hope we have a good six here. Uh, it is an acceptable six, but not the best. So. All right. Mountain go. Take two. And... Where's that idiot? Unleash! Alright, he is unleashed. He will not be blocking today. Go ahead. Attack! 18. This hand just got bananas. Jeez. Wow. Go! Having 12 one drops with two power is absurd. Nice. If I draw a land, you're getting mangled. <laughs> Go. Please don't draw a land. <laughs> ah, rats. Guess you guess you can't always draw 100% perfect. All right, so six. I'm going to flash this guy in. Oh, God. Oh, okay. That's fine. Yeah, and uh, I'm just going to block, like, this guy because it doesn't. Sure. So yeah. you take four. Yeah. Down to 14. 14. Now, I can play this Lotleth Troll. Which I think I'm going to do, and he's going to try to kill it, but I think I just have to discard a creature card, which is right. generates more tempo for me. Uh, we'll discard a Direct Mangler. Okay. Which kind of sucks having to discard that, but then I, if I end up getting into the late game, I might be able to utilize it. So. And we have drawn terribly again this game, so it's always good. Uh, let's play Jace. Sure. And um, just plus one him. Okay, so... Go ahead. All right. Rats. I think I just have to attack Chase with everybody. I want to try to get him off the table. And the worst comes to worst, I'm going to be able to kill this Static Caster if he decides to block the troll with it. So. Unless I'm bluffing and I don't have a creature in hand. Yeah. With my two stuck on two. Yeah, that seems unlikely. <laughs> so, Jace is taking, would take three, uh, four, four currently, or five currently. If I block a Diagraph, it would be four, but then he can um, discard a creature to the troll to kill it. But if I block the troll... Um, and You're going to lose your Static Caster. If you yeah, I, lo I either lose my Static Caster or I lose Jace. I think you so, want to keep Jace around for one more turn, honestly. Yeah. Especially because he's going down to two if you block the troll, so you have the option to either plus one. Like, if you're playing yeah. Huntmaster, you can, like, plus one, but if you're playing, uh, like, Thrag Tusk, you can just draw an extra two cards or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, if he has two creatures and I do yeah. here, though, then I'm in big trouble, but that's, like... I think I'm just, you know, in trouble anyway, so yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to block this. Sure. Like this. Uh, 
We're going to discard Recto Shred Freak. Okay. And uh, Jace takes three. Yep. Maybe so too. Sure. And be done. All right. Well, that was like basically the worst draw again. So uh, we'll <laughs> use Jace's Modest Ability. Okay. All right, well, these are all good cards, so we get two awesome cards yeah. out of this. Um, I'll do Huntmaster versus the rest. Luckily, right now, the Flames is not in a position to do anything other than uh, kill one guy, but giving him Snapcaster Mage and Flames, I think, is better than giving him a Huntmaster and, and either of the other two, so... Uh, it's tough. Um, I probably have to take the Huntmaster, since Flames, like, I don't know if that's right, though. But Flames, like, doesn't do that much here, and I, I need to be able to Flames and Snap Flames in the same turn. That's a lot of mana. Yeah, which I can't do, so. Uh, I'm actually just going to take the Huntmaster here. Sure. I mean, I assumed you would. That's why I put it in the uh, other pile. So. Yep. I'm glad you didn't have a Huntmaster with your J still in play. That would have been kind of bad for me, I think. So They go to the bottom of your library. Oh. Cards. Oh, yeah, they do? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh, All right. that changes things. Yeah, so now his Snapcaster in hand can't uh, target the Flames. <laughs> play Huntmaster. Sure. Um, so you go up to 16, 16 and get a Wolf. Let's see. Pillar of Flame targeting. Say go ahead. Sure. I want to save this for flipping home masters, which is kind of long odds at this point, but maybe that will happen. Get them in there. They're all gonna die anyway. Might as well. Do all right, so. block block the diagraph. Sure. That's it. Um, sure. Just take uh, four, five, six, seven, eight down yep. to eight. Yep. Diagraph down. Play Swan. Play Gerald's Messenger. Delete two down to six. All right. Go. Oh, I'm going to get mortars here, aren't I? <laughs> I just forgot that card existed. <laughs> Crap. I guess at least you'll be down to four and have the chomp block with a Huntmaster. But that might have been bad, making my troll vulnerable since it's so good against you. But you do need a mortars and a land, and you're still not in a great position after that. So. Yep. That's... All right, well... I guess we just have to thought scour ourselves. Sure. And we're dead. So pretty pretty sweet lands there. But yep. <laughs> How many lands are you playing? Like twenty five or twenty six? Okay. I mean that's not unreasonable. I think it sucks. You keep getting flooded. Yep. I don't know. I mean I have like desperate ravings, so I assume that that would help. Like right. Yeah. Are you playing four ravings? Just two. Okay. We'll go ahead and play a fifth one. I want to be on the play, though, just to see like if yeah. it's even that much worse. Sure, sure. But uh, I think for the play, I definitely want my 12th one drop back in. And I might even want the Shred Freak, too. And maybe I just want to play max creatures and not even worry about... Like, I had the... Uh, what's the stupid uh, Underworld connections in my hand? And it just... Wasn't man, doing anything? Well, yeah. I mean, I was a little short on mana, but if those had been creatures, like, you'd just been stone dead. Yeah, exactly. So... I'll just bring in one. Like like I said earlier, like you're not a dedicated control deck, so it's going to be a little different playing against you versus playing against like an Esper control, like Entreat the Angels, Terminus kind of thing. Like against them, I'm just going to want to try to grind them out. But against you, I just want to be as fast as possible. Like all my threats seem very resilient to your removal spells, and even like Huntmaster Thrag Tusk are just like I don't care. Yeah. Like I've I've never been that. Uncaring about a Thragtus hitting play in my life. Yeah. Every time Thragtus is in play, I've just been like, oh god. Gotta, you know, kill it and then kill the 3 3, and you gain 5 life, but it's a new day. A lot left trolls than nut. Yeah, this, man, that. <laughs> my, my cards have just done nothing. <laughs> yeah. Not, yeah, you got some sweet mythics over there doing nothing. Yep. I got my 3 mana 3 3 haste uncommon breaking your face in. And uh, uncommon two two and 
Oh yeah, that guy is oh, no. a common. I thought he was a common, but yeah. Yeah, I think Shred Freak's a common. I think. But yeah, Shred Freak's a common, but the uh, the one drop the I always forget his name. No, he's an uncommon. Yeah. Yeah, he is an uncommon. What's his name? Uh, we'll. S- he's gonna be in my opener, so we'll. Yeah, we'll figure he'll be. It out in a minute. He'll be in your opener. Yeah, cackler. Yeah, right. The cackler. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe that deck is is just insane, but I, I do feel like Todd's had some pretty good draws. So. Oh yeah, I have a, quite another good draw. Oh man, this is almost awesome. I don't know. I feel like this hand could fall apart pretty easily, but uh, we're gonna keep it and since keep, we're on the play. Keeping this. All right, so we'll lead with a grave crawler. Sure. If it gets pillared, that would be unfortunate, but go ahead. Ow. Anchor for you. Okay. Four or uh, sixteen. I think it's pretty fitting for a zombie to be wearing a rancor. Go. One of my favorite flavor texts of all time is on the Urza's Legacy Rancors. It says, "Hatred outlives the hateful." Although with zombies, it's kind of not true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I guess technically it is true because you know we hate. are hate, we hate, are hate, in some hate, rough hate. hate, hate. We're facing. We're at sixteen, facing six damage. Hope everything, <laughs> everything two. bad in the world happens to you and only you. Go. <laughs> All Man, right. This is. I mean, I could have played untapped steam vents and scoured myself, but it seems like I'm just. Yep. Eight. <laughs> I'm at eight. Desperate ravings. Sure. I feel like it's a pretty desperate raving at this point. It's extremely desperate. I don't know if you guys have been watching the last couple weeks, but I've been getting annihilated, so this feels really good. <laughs> yeah, we're not out, we're, you're not out of the woods yet. Uh, sure. That Desperate Ravings hit amazing cards, so I'm going to make you pick. Get out of here, tree. <sighs> Dang it. That's, I, didn't want, I, didn't, I wanted that tree. I don't know. I feel like you want to like pillar stuff this turn. Oh, I definitely want to pillar stuff, but uh, I also wanted that tree. All right, so we have to go down to six, six, and uh, pillar the grave crawler, and uh, pillar the diagraph. Sure. <clears throat> and go, dude. Pretty much the nut, dude. You got four. And we'll go ahead and put a little hate on him. Yep. Go. It's probably going to outlive me. I'll <laughs> scour myself. <laughs> big Nasty. Loves it when you call him Big Papa. Uh, let's pillar him. No! Get, get How out did of you here. draw so many pillars? I drew two pillars off the Desperate Ravens. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. What a jerk. <laughs> go. <laughs> Creature! All right, we're we're in this. We're in it. You're gonna thrag next turn. Oh boy. Well, I'm putting three rain cords on any creature I draw, so hopefully it'll be another messenger, and you don't have a snapcaster mage. But I have a feeling that I'm going to lose this game now. Man, I don't know if that feeling is justified. <laughs> really? I mean, I don't think I'm drawing a creature for a while. I, I just have that bad feeling. I really hope you just like tap out and attack with everything one turn, and I just top deck the haste guy. Drag mangler. I mean, you can only mangle me once unless you have more. Uh, oh, but I got all these rancors. Sure. Just gonna put you up to nine. Yep. Go oh, ahead, jerk. Third pillar. Get out of here. <sighs> we'll mangle. I'm not going to attack it, though, but I'm going to Rancor it and say go. The lesson we're learning from this game is the best way to beat zombies is to be on the draw. So. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take that lesson to heart. Yeah. <laughs> if you learn anything... Oh, God. If you learn anything from this playtesting program, you should learn that. Uh, Brian's going to do the there. greediest attack possible and get beat by a Racto Shred Freak. You... You oh. just have to keep Tommy alive. You don't have two Rancors in hand. If I draw... You have, you have two more Rancors in hand? Yes. You've seen all three of them, oh, I thought. I, yeah. I thought I only saw two. Maybe you did only see two. Okay. Yeah, I only saw Whatever. two. Yeah. Never mind. I don't know why. 
I think you saw all three different copies, but okay, I just, all right. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna get this for a mountain. So sure. rats. All right, I think we're gonna lose now. Go. Thirteen. Oh, and you can. Yeah, I'm just dead. You're not dead. Just very badly burned. I'm so sad now. You just had all the pillars. Why can't you not draw that many pillars? Once you played the second one on the the diagraph cool, I was like, yeah, this messenger is gonna host your son. Uh, send. All right, I'm at eight. Oh, you're not Close. dead yet. You're not dead yet. We'll tap this. Yeah. Opposite. Go ahead. Oh, we got a troll. Troll alert. <laughs> and you have wolf run, right? So, and you can just tap my guy. And also this. Oh yeah, cool, cool story, bro. Hey, I have to, I have to have all these. You one. Would game. you, would you like to play more games? Because <laughs> I would love to play more games. No, but yeah. uh, so uh, we'll be. Uh, Going over our conclusions in just a second, I think. Yeah. But uh, so overall, Brian, <coughs> what did you think of your deck? Uh, not, I mean, ne not necessarily against mine, but just in general. I mean, I like the idea behind it. Uh, it probably needs to splash another color. Like the mana was so perfect that you can. Sp I feel like you can splash another color. I don't like, know. Maybe you just want like another fatty boom boom that costs like six. You know, I mean, I, I don't know. Like you, maybe. you have a Nimbusa, but I don't know if that's like good enough. Uh, I don't. I mean, there's not really a whole lot that you. Yeah, can there's play. like like, like there's this no Titans. This deck would love a Consecrated Sphinx. Right. Yeah. Um. But like, I I feel like the deck needs. I mean, at least in this matchup, it needs some way to kill guys. Like, Tomio seemed really powerful. How many? Yeah. How many Tomios are Two. you playing? Two. Yeah. I mean, it might be worth it just to play three of them. Cause Maybe. It, it feels just like so good. Like it's awesome against control because you can lock down their land. And threatening an ultimate against them is huge. Right. And then against, like, if zombies are, like, the most popular aggressive archetype, just having a way to lock down, especially when I'm playing with Rancor and stuff like that. Uh, locking down Rancors, locking down Trolls, like, that's all big, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah all that stuff. Um, uh, as far as the zombies deck is concerned, I really liked uh, the setup. The 12-1 drop seemed phenomenal. Uh, the Shred Freak seemed decent, um, although he's a little awkward with Cavern on occasion. Uh, there was a, a like a game where I could have like caverned human and made him un uncounterable, but I just don't think that's worth it. Like, there's not enough counter spells in the format for that to be worth it. Mm -hmm. um, I do think most of the aggro decks in the format just as a mana fixer will use cavern, so I don't think essence scatter is worth playing at all. I mean, See, I don't, I don't know if that's. I agree with that because I think with uh, this set, like, I actually think cavern's going to go down in amount of play it sees because with like the new dual lands, I think. Mana bases become smoother without caverns, and there's less of a need for it. I mean, so. that that is possible. And yeah, I mean, I could be wrong. And but I do think that the uh, like human archetypes and zombie archetypes and like any any sort of aggressive archetype that is tribal based will almost definitely just play cavern if they have multi multiple different colors of their uh, their tribe. So. Right. Um, in this matchup specifically, uh, the most important cards on my side, I think, were uh, Drag Mangler, since uh, three toughness got around Pillar of Flame. Um, and also the haste was gigantic, and then having the one drops I think was good too since there's no pyroclasm as in the in the format like there's no two mana sweeper spell. There's like six mana, or you know five five or six mana bonfire or yeah. museum orders. Yeah, I mean yeah. like you can randomly miracle bonfire on like turn three and that's a kind of a <clears> sweeper, <throat> but I I don't think that it's good enough. Um, like in general, I think that just swarming is the best. Uh, option for like a deck like zombies like you just want to put as many threats on into play as possible so long as you don't overextend into a bonfire like the turn where I played the messenger I don't think I should have uh, in game four when I could have uh, easily just been like wrecked by uh, Mizium mortars like you have to chum block with your hunt master at that point but I'm basically out of gas like I mean I had like underworld connections but I would have had to draw a land to be able to draw a card that turn but uh yeah I don't know um, or what what specific changes do you think you would make to your deck just to uh, help against like zombies or just uh, like aggro decks in general? Um, I mean, I don't I don't know about other aggro decks because I haven't played. Like, I, I thought this would be good against like uh, most aggressive decks that have like Mizium Mortars, which doubles as a removal spell and also a, like a sweeper. Right. It seems very good against stuff like Restoration Angel too. So yeah, I have like Pillars and and uh, Volley and Snapcaster main deck. So I have a lot of like. Removal spells, and then you know, hunt masters and thrag to kind of steal the deal. Mm -hmm. uh, against zombies in particular, it was not nearly as effective as I had hoped. Uh, not sure. 
actually uh, the best way to, to combat like zombies that was pretty brutal. Like it seemed like you know even pillar wasn't that great because of troll. Right. But uh, I mean, I definitely want four pillars against zombies. But how many uh, thought scours were you playing? Two. Um, I'm almost under the impression that a Desperate Ravings is just going to be better for you than Thought Scour most of the time. Like, yeah, I think it so. makes your Snapcasters a little worse, but you have so much removal uh, for your Snapcasters to get value. That, and you're only playing three Snapcasters, right? So yeah, four. three. Yep. Yeah. So I think that it's probably better. Like Thought Scour just doesn't do that much. I mean, it's a cycler, and you know, if in a format where like you can ponder, like ponder is not really a cycler. Like you wouldn't play Thought Scour unless you were playing like Miracles. I think, or I think that it's more reasonable to want to play. Thought Scour and a Miracle deck since it's an instant and you can play stuff on your opponent's turn, but Yeah, it's that's that's true. Like maybe just four desperate ravings is better. Yeah. Uh, I was pretty happy with ravings when I cast it, so yeah, it seemed it seemed uh, like it was digging you out of a couple jams, especially when it hit those two pillars. Yeah, that, that, that pulled game, me so. out. I was in a lot of trouble. Yeah, yeah. cool. Alright guys, uh, well we thank you guys for playing or watching our playtest video today. Uh, Todd Anderson with Black Green Zombies versus Brian Brown doing with Rub Control. Rub Control. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but we'll be back next week uh, probably playing a little more standard with new cards. Uh, maybe by then we will have some physical copies from the pre-release. or No, because we, we filmed before the pre-release, right? Right, yeah. Okay, we'll so film. We're going to be playing with proxies again, unfortunately, but it's just, I mean, if you want to see us play with new cards, we're going to have to play with proxies, you know? We're, yeah. We're, we're not magicians. Or we're kind of magicians, but not the magicians that can pull cards out of a, a hat. Or I mean, a I can pull a card out of a hat. It's pretty easy. <laughs> like, All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. We'll be back next week. See you later. See you.